Welcome back to Life in Balance, uh, an awesome show where we really are sharing a message of, of hope and uh, transformation of your health. Yeah, and we're over here live at uh, Vibrant Life Health Center, so you'll get to see some of the facilities and stuff like that. Yeah, right definitely, there. absolutely, for sure. We're talking, well, before we start, we definitely want to give a reference. You know, if, if for anything that we're doing on this, on this show, if you want more information, one of the best places to go is the blog. Right. Uh, to get to our blog spot and take a look, there's articles there, there's information, there's many types of avenues where you can learn how to really shape the, and you know transform the future of your health yeah. and that's really key and, and again if you go to vibrantlifehealthcenter.com you can you there's links to the blog and all those other kind of things there's also links to facebook and twitter yes and if you go there you'll see a lot of the videos there too so again lots of information that's out there the whole purpose of this is to help people improve their, their health and their lives. I mean, that's, yeah. that's what Vibrant Life Health Center is about. What a great subject this week, out-of-the-box health care. Yeah. How do you take it out of the box and kind of what that means? That's yeah. a pretty good thing. Again, we're into the holidays now. We're coming up on Christmas pretty soon. You know, uh, Kwanzaa and all the other things that are, that are yes. out there, all these other holidays. You really need to sort of think about your health because a lot of times people sort of go crazy. Mm -hmm. You know, they go crazy during the holidays, and it's very common for people to gain as much as 10 or 12 pounds. It is. And during then, the holidays. Yeah, and the research shows us that that weight doesn't go away. Right, no. It stays with you, and then the next year you do the same thing, and so... And the reality is, you can gain it really fast, but you generally gain it, lose it a lot slower. You've got yes. to work a lot harder to lose it, so it, the, the best thing to do is really sort of think things, some of these things through. Today we're going to be talking about out-of-the-box healthcare thinkers. Yes. And, and really... If you think about medicine the way it is today, one of the biggest problems is medicine is not thinking about out of the box. No, they're not. What it's... they're doing is they're giving you pills and stuff. Yes. Well, you know, there's two main subjects there. They want to mask the symptoms and they want to stabilize the patient right. so that they're they're comfortable. Right. They want to hear, here, you feel better, get out. Yeah. And, and that's <laughs> not necessarily the case, especially when you want to talk about long-term health and functional health care. Yeah. You want to make sure you're looking for, with somebody that's going to find out what is the root cause? Right. Why is my body really doing this situation? Right. Most, and again, there's lots of good doctors out there, but most of them really, their, their whole modus operandi is to make you feel better and get you out the door versus I really want to find out what the root cause is so we can make it so you don't ever have to come through the door. Exactly. That. exactly. I mean, that, and that's really what you want. You want to make it so that you don't have to come back for that if at all per, po possible. Exactly. And I can tell you, Dr. John is that way because I'm one of his patients. He makes it so that I have to come back minimally or not at all. Exactly. So and if I come back now, it's for something different. And, yep, that, and, uh, we, and that's what we want to make sure, because we want to make sure that your life out there is functional and you're at your best, you know, so that when you're walking and you're doing all the things that you're doing, mm -hmm. Your body's getting the best out of it. Right. You know, we're, today we're going to talk about a, a whole bunch of different people that had this out-of-the-box thinking. And we're going to start with uh, William Kellogg. William Kellogg. You know, a lot of people don't know who William Kellogg right. is. He's, a, he's an older individual as far as in the history books. Uh, developed Kellogg Foundation. Famous for say, the series, right? I was right? going to say, if you ever ate Kellogg's Corn Flakes, there you go, you right? who the guy is. Okay. And this is the guy. And so, really, a lot of people, if you dig into the history of W.K. Kellogg, he had a huge sanitarium in, right. up in Michigan. It's, I've um, seen pictures of it. It's really pretty cool. Oh, it was really cool. Mm -hmm. And they had exercises and fitness, and they had all types of different treatments and protocols that they were taking care of. And people and, would go there to get better. Oh, they would. And yeah. from all over the world. Yeah. We're talking princes and kings and, right. I mean, the royalties of the world, the empire leaders of the world would travel to Battle Creek, Michigan, of all places. Yeah. Uh, to have that. He actually created a whole town called Galesburg, Michigan, where he had all the organic fields for their foods, and it was all grown under control. It was organic, right. and uh, really kind of an interesting scenario, and he had a lot of different protocols. He was out of the box. Uh, he did a lot of things. Uh, people, they probably heard of different enemas. One of the things he did was yogurt enemas, yeah. and uh, uh, so he was doing some big things, and he developed the cereals for his uh, right. for his company uh, to be healthy alternatives for, yeah. to feed people food that they would have and he would have these people doing these cereals like breakfast lunch and dinner and they right. were on a nutrition plan and here's the thing okay today a lot of the big food conglomerates don't necessarily do it like he was doing I mean it's no. changed a lot so yes, he, it he has. Doesn't know, and maybe the Kellogg family still owns a big piece of it but it's a whole different world. I mean, you got General Mills and all these guys. They put all the artificial flavors and colors. You see them starting to change that. I've yes. seen, you know, some commercials where they're saying no artificial colors and you know. So yes, on. no artificial flavors. Right, but and that's but that's recent. That is, that's yeah. very recent. 
And, you know, they, obviously they're going to make it a profitable situation and right. the company's got to do what it's got to do. But when you're, when you're looking at your situation, right. when you're, you're trying to decide what are the foods, what are the things I should be eating, especially Christmas time as we're right. coming into that, um, you really want to make sure that you're eating food that has the nutrition that's based, that's right. based on real food and not synthetics and dyes and artificial preservatives. These are the things that are really going to hurt you in the long run. And these out-of-the-box thinkers, you know, W.K. Kellogg, he knew that. He established his whole sanitarium on it. Yeah. And I, I would tell you that in, in case you missed the Thanksgiving show, which was last week, you can go back and look at it. I mean, we gave you some hints on how to eat, how to get ready so that you don't gain that 12 pounds exactly. going to the Christmas exactly. holidays. Um, the next person we're going to I've read several of his books, Joseph Michael Mercola. Yes. Real pretty famous character. He is a very, very household name. He's active. You know, he's still yes. alive. He's very active in the alternative health world yeah. and really shiny in his light on, you know, we have some big problems in our country when it comes to our health care. That's no surprise. Uh, the overuse of opiates and pain medications and antibiotics, and that's really where Joseph McCurl comes in. And he comes in and says, you know, look at all the other alternatives out there. He's really trying to provide a platform for right. us to know what else is out there that you can do. And one of the things he really, that I got out of his books, I mean, the medicine is doing all these things, but it's not producing any results. I mean, right. it cures, if you will. I mean, right. we talk about, you go to the medicine, you want the cure. You don't want just to sort of placate the, the situation. Right. And one of his things he showed was, we got all these things, we're giving these people all these antibiotics, but they have to keep coming back and getting more antibiotics. Well, that means that they're not solving the problem. Exactly. You know, and exactly. That, he shined really a big light on that. And again, he has an alternative. He's giving alternatives yes. to these other things. Right. So, and the alternatives, when you do research on them, a lot of them are offering cures yeah. and resolution to problems that we aren't seeing with some of the other steps that we're taking. And well, so, you hear uh, a good one to be like antibiotics, as you, we talk about that a bunch of times. Before there were antibiotics, there were other things that were antibiotics. Yes. Okay? That is modern antibiotics. But there were things like colloidal silver. People used garlic and all those kinds of things. Yes. And actually those things worked to a great extent. They didn't kill all superbugs and all right, that. Right, exactly. But, but they actually worked very well. And if you used them in a preventative way, mm -hmm. in many cases you just didn't get sick. Exactly. Yeah. Because you were ahead of long. Right. So... Prevention can often be a, a, a thing that people can use. For example, just making sure that you're eating enough vitamin C can help you keep that's, from getting sick. That's a big thing. And making sure you're washing your hands and, and regularly and taking right. care of that. So that's, a, you know, and that, those are the things that Joseph McCurl talks right. about. How to, how to make sure your vitamin C <coughs> is right. How to make sure it's usable in the body. Yeah. Great articles out there in Mercola's website for that. Right. So this next, next person on our list, I'm not real familiar with, but I know you are. Yes. Uh, Nicholas Gonzalez. Dr. Nicholas Gonzalez, an awesome doctor uh, out of the New York area. He had a practice for many years. He is no longer with us, unfortunately. But he has developed some very uh, interesting protocols that were related to holistically treating cancer. Yeah. And the interesting thing is, is when you look at the background of his practice and the clients that he had, he had individuals in his practice that the modern medicine, as we would call it, had kind of said, you know, there's no They wrote, wrote them off. Yeah, right. they wrote them off. I mean, there's nothing we can do. Yeah. And he came in and, and took, stepped in and he, he provided an opportunity for them to, to treat themselves. And, and, and many of them were cured. Cured. <laughs> but, uh, you know, we're talking about individuals that had stage 5 pancreatic cancer. Yeah. And stage 5. I mean, right. that's... That's and like uh, they lived 28, 32 years right. past that diagnosis. So, and you know, you had breast cancer. Women had breast cancer, and they were 28 years and 30 years survivors of that. Yeah. Uh, and and again, that was with none and, of the modern medical And again, medical if you treatments. look at if you look at what they call cure for cancer today through most of the treatment centers, if you make it to five years, that's considered a cure. So that is, you, yeah. So if you make it to five years in one day, and you die. Cured. You're still cured. <laughs> <laughs> and okay. so, and, and that's really remarkable. And the beautiful thing about it is, is that when you're on these programs that Dr. Gonzalez developed, uh, not only are you um, addressing the issue of cancer that's in your body, but what was wonderful is they were healthy. Yeah. I mean, you talk about that five lived, years. They lived healthy yes, lives. It was a quality life. Right. You talk about the five years, if you put you know, somebody into that five years, that might not be quality well, that you're right. living. That when you go through chemo, you're yes. going through living hell. Yes, I mean, that's the reality. That's what it is. And yeah. so, uh, again, a beautiful out of the box thinker came in and did some really great testing, yeah. developed specific protocols for that. The thing that really irks me about a lot of these kinds of people is when they come out with these things, the medical community 
goes after them like wolves. Yes. They try and kill these people. They try and destroy their reputations and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. I mean, there's some really good videos on Netflix that you see on some of these kinds of things oh, where, yeah. where they, these doctors come up with these great protocols and they have huge success. They have lots of scientific data, but the medical community yeah. goes after them like with a vengeance. And it's really sort of a sad thing in our country that that's allowed to happen. Yeah, it is. It's, it's something that, uh, you know, when we get these bright ideas and these innovations and these opportunities to see what we can do to help move in different directions, uh, we have to embrace that. Yeah. We have to embrace it. That's you know what I love to do. That's why in my office, that's what I do. I'm out of the box. I do everything I can. I don't put any limitations on our treatment paradigms. You know, as long as it's within the scope of what we can do here in the office, uh, I'm all for it, and we go after it with everything we got. You know, when I think about cancer in particular, because I mean, my mom had cancer twice, and she went through all those protocols and stuff like that. But she didn't do any of the natural stuff, and. And I think about your your practice here, where you have the new thermography. Yes. Okay. That's sort of out of the box because, again, most people until recently have been saying X-ray, X-ray, X-ray. Right. X-ray, mammogram, mammogram, mammogram. And, mammogram, mammogram, and mammogram, the reality X-ray. is, X-rays cause cancer. There's lots of studies that say yes. that. The National uh, Institutes of Science have said that. That's not me saying yeah. it. So. The normal thing is to do it this one way. That's really not mm-hmm. good for you. But a better way, which is not invasive, is that you can really see some really useful stuff that is now uh, accredited, certified, and so on, is the thermography. Oh, definitely. You know, yeah. it's it's an FDA cleared you know process. It's uh, given as an adjunct to mammograms and breast cancer right. studies. Um, it is a detectable device. The you know the sensitivity. If you think about this technology that we're talking about, right. it was developed in the military. Right. It's the night vision systems right. that they're using, and we've been able to take that sensitivity and develop heat patterns on the body and we can establish not only, okay, it's there, present, it's in this area, but now we're talking about what is the pathological pattern? What is, are there cellular structures? There is there venous feed to it? What you can really start understanding what you have. A great example of, if we're talking about, well, I'll say that for another show. I was gonna say, I know you can't talk about patients, (laughs) but I've seen people that have gone through that stuff where they had been misdiagnosed, I don't know how many times. It's exactly. Misdiagnosed because the tool they're using to try and diagnose this is really not the right tool. Where exactly. this, this tool has really tremendous amount of application yep. for all kinds of things. So it's not just back pain or breast cancer. It's, it's all kinds of things. It could be Definitely. infections. I mean, you name Everything it. from even the varicose veins. Yeah. You can do some vein studies. I mean, it's amazing what this technology can do. And it is definitely out of the box. And this is the uh, center where you can get that, yes. that technology. So they're, they're making appointments enough for that right now. Before we go to the break, we want to probably talk uh, just a little bit. And then we'll come back and talk about Dr. Max Gerson. Yes. Um, he did a lot of the activation type of things. He did you know? a lot of those types of things. One of the things he's most famous for would be the juicing. He brought a lot of juicing into his pair of programs and things like that. Which I'm a big fan and of. By the way. Yes, you are. I'm going to get him fired up on this one. <laughs> and uh, but I mean, he did a lot of great things. And again, another application of where someone really went outside the box and said, "Let's try to boost the immunity, boost the body, and try, try to fight cancer in that in that yeah. setting." Yeah, and again, a lot of people don't think of that. So I know we got uh, only a couple of minutes before yep. we go to the break. Today we're going to be talking about the tip of the week is uh, tip of the week. You know, when a supplement hurts. You know what I mean? We'll talk about that. Yeah. So we'll be back in a couple seconds. A lot of people ask me, what is this Nutrimose? What is this program? You know, the amazing thing about Nutrimose is it's a program that looks at your entire system and determines why is it that your metabolism isn't controlling fat metabolism the way that it should. There's an entire system in your body that does this, and it gets derailed. It gets off course, and when we're off course, our body starts adding the fat. We want to get away from that. We want to solve the real problem, and on this program, you actually repair that metabolism system as you go through the program. So at the end of this, this program, it's not that you had a had a, a magical pill, a red or blue pill that made you lose the weight. It's a system, and that system is running all the way through the process going forward. We are back. Yeah, and we, we were talking about the tip of the week. So we you were saying that you know what happens when you take a supplement that hurts you, that hurts you, which is possible. You know, it is very possible. You know. A lot of people don't realize, you know, when you talked to, you talked to earlier about vitamin C. So he says, mm-hmm. I need to get vitamin C. Well, 
instead of going and actually getting a source of vitamin C, a lot of people will go up to the store and they'll say, well, if I'm going to get vitamin C, I'll just get a multi-pack. Right. They'll have vitamin C in it. And then they'll have all these other things that right. your body is sufficient in, your right. diet's providing right. it. So now you have all this extra stuff in your body that it has to deal with. And that in itself can take the body offline just yeah. as much as a distraction to the body is not having enough vitamin C. And I would also just say that you know, if you're not used to taking vitamin C and all of a sudden you take mega doses of it, you're gonna the have likelihood of <laughs> having you run to the bathroom is pretty high. You're going to go through some detox. Yeah. There's no doubt about so that. So there's some things that are going to have to... Again, if, if you take... A lot of people have the idea that if one is good... Maybe, Six is better. Maybe, yeah. A whole yeah. bunch of them yeah. is going to be a heck of a lot better. You know? <laughs> it's like vitamin D. I mean, you know... 5,000 milligrams is good, or 5,000 units is good, but maybe 20,000 units. Well, exactly. 20,000 units might put you in the hospital. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, you, you got to take it with the relativity of understanding, number one, why you're doing it. When it comes to supplementation, you've heard me say it many times, don't guess, test. Find out exactly what you need, and then make sure that the supplements you're using are specifically for what you need, yeah. and not forever, for a period of time, to change the course of what's mm -hmm. going on, retest, and then verify that you don't need it anymore. Yeah, because I, I'm a firm believer that I take supplements, been taking them for a long, long time, but I believe in supplement vacations. We've talked yes, about we this a couple of times. You know, where it's the weekend, I'm not taking nothing. So this weekend, I'm going camping with the Boy Scouts. No supplements. No supplements. I'm take them. I mean, I will have food. We'll have vitamin food. vacation, yeah, as vitamin we call vacation. Yep. So, yeah, And again, if you do it for two, three days, you'd be surprised. If you feel better when you go off those supplements, yeah. maybe you need to re really look at what the heck you're taking. Exactly. Yeah, reevaluate. Say, okay, what do I need and what don't I need? Right. What am I getting that I don't need to have here? Yeah. And so that's that's our health tip of the week. Evaluate where you're at. How do you feel? Take a break and see how you're feeling with, when you're off of them and uh, really determine. And then if you haven't yet, get, get an appointment to figure out how you can get some testing done. We do that here in the office. Yeah. Micro macronutrient testing, uh, some hair-based testing, and we can really find out what's going on in the body and what you really need. And I, the funny thing about that is most doctors will not do that testing. Most doctors don't think supplements are very useful anyway, which is mm -hmm. sort of a shame. And it's a shame that they're not covered by your insurance, which I'm hoping right. maybe with the new president coming in, they'll look at some There's of these things yeah. because they really need to change our health system. If they make it with preventative measures built in, people will be much more healthier. Yeah, that, if you I give guess, them the incentive because it's covered under their insurance, they're likely to yeah. do it. I've always said, I think that, you know, the fact that we have a reactive medicine system right. where we're always reacting to emergencies, right. uh, we're pinching pennies and losing dollars. Right. That's Absolutely. what I've always said. If we could put money and efforts towards prevention, uh, we wouldn't have to have all this big yeah. stuff. I mean, they, they slowly moved it. They made it where you can get like a free... You know, once a year checkup or something like that. But when you walk in, they palpate you and, you know, and they yeah. kick you out the door. Yeah. Yeah. You, know. yeah. you really need something where you can do, because believe it or not, vitamins used to be covered under your, if, if your doctor wrote a prescription for vitamins, you used to be able to write them off. Yeah. Well, now you can't do that anymore because the the, the drug companies label, uh, lobbied the yeah. government to stop that stop kind that. of stuff. So yeah. it's really crazy. I know we were talking about Dr. Gerson. Gerson. Yeah. Uh, and we were talking about raw juicing and organic diets and all those kinds of things. I'm a big advocate of using like a Nutribullet or some kind of mm -hmm. blender, you know, Ninja Blender. I was thinking that knowing you, I think you probably have three or four of them. I have a really, I have a commercial one at home because I got tired of breaking my blenders. I yes. actually went through about five blenders. I have a commercial one that you would good, like to go out and yes. get your commercial smoothies. That's, let's just put this in relative. He could... An iPhone could be a shake. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but the one at the office, we have a Nutribullet at the office. So a lot of times, I mean, I would make these big, huge salads. And it would take me like a half an hour to eat the salad. So I yeah. said, well, you know, I'm just going to make me a liquid salad. And I there put it all thing, And I could drink the salad in about, I don't know, 10 minutes, 5 exactly. minutes. Exactly. All your nutrients are there. You're getting the fiber because it's still in there. Yeah. Fiber's and in there. And actually, I, I really think I absorb it better. Yes, and it actually has a, a high energy feel afterwards. Right. You know, that's, that's a great statement when you say it's actually you absorb the bitters because you broke it down into pieces. Right. A lot of people don't realize when we talk about supplements, one of the things I love about the supplement lines we have here, a lot of them are what they are called chelated. And so right. what that means is they're attached to amino acids and you can absorb right. it more effectively. A lot of people don't know that. And so there's a lot of things in supplements that if you come to a doctor that's, right. that's really aimed at really focusing on making you have a program that's for you. Right. So if you're getting we'll calcium, sure calcium carbonate... Yes, or, magnesium stearate, all right, or those these, types of if, things. If, yes. they don't, if, if they don't have the right stuff attached to them, the bioavailable yes. products that would be like in the kale and so on. Exactly. 
then you can't absorb them very well. It's just like eating rocks. Well, they're going to like, I'll go right through you. Yeah. How many people have eaten corn? You know where that goes. Yeah. Right? So, it, <laughs> so one of the things that blending them with, with the high-speed blender does is it breaks down a lot of that stuff, and it just makes it easier for your body to absorb it. Right. If your body can more easily absorb it, in my opinion, it works less. Oh, yeah. And if it works less, you actually have more energy because most of your energy is used for digestion. Most people exactly. Are, you know, your digestion takes a lot of energy out of you. Does take talking about Gerson? Gerson, uh, he knew that. That's why he did so much juicing. Is because a lot of these people that are fighting these big diseases, they just don't have the energy right. to digest that stuff. And if you juice it, you can get it done quickly. You can get it in the body faster, and uh, it provides a healing source much more effectively. So that's really what. And it's and it's not hard to add protein and those kinds of things. No. Even if you're a vegan, I mean, you can do that. I mean, you got to. Oh, absolutely. Of There's different sources you can right. use. You could use pea protein and all those other kinds oh, of things. Oh, hemp, pea, peanut right. butter, right. you know, all kinds of stuff. Um, the next person we got on here on the list is this person I've never heard of, Paul Paul Eck. Eck. Yes, Paul Eck was a doctor that, you know, it's one of, I love Paul Eck's work when I look back and research it. Uh, the reason for that is because uh, he has developed a lot of the things that I use here in the office for hair testing. And the unique thing about that hair testing, if you, you know, definitely, if you haven't had a chance to check this out, we'll have plenty of sources out there to find out more about it. But... Uh, we can find out what's going on with your macro and micronutrients on that test, okay. but then we can also take a ratio of the mineral development in your body and we can start breaking down systems and find out what are the systems. What is your nervous system doing? What is your adrenal stress response doing? How well is your digestion doing? What's the cell permeability in your body? Mm -hmm. When you start to understand those types of things about health, that's definitely out of the box, number yeah. one. Yeah. And number two, the amazing thing is what we can do around... Uh, a patient and what we can do to focus what they're doing. Well, here's, here's one sure. of the, the interesting things that, you know, there are lots of supplements out there that people take, like, for example, we're, we're in, becoming, getting close to winter, so. Yes. So zinc, people talk about zinc supplements for sore throats and, 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 mm -hmm. and colds totally. and things like that, but most people don't realize if you take a bunch of zinc every day, it actually sucks out a lot of the minerals that you would like copper. Which yes. Most people think, well, why would I need copper in my body? Well, you need that. It's a very important <laughs> supplement, as a matter of fact. And it's amazing how it's many It's an important to your balance. immune system and all that kind of yes. stuff. And, and here you're taking zinc for your immune system, and you're, 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 you're stressing your immune yes. system by taking stuff out of it. Right, and not understanding those balances is key. The same thing with water. Like, a lot of people want to have purified water, because, like, that's water's life, if mm -hmm. you will. But they filter the water. Like, we have a the pure one, or whatever it's called, that takes uh -huh. everything out of it. Yes. So there's nothing in that water other than water. No, you're but you guess right. So you need to drink other kind. You need to eat other kinds of things that give you the minerals back. Yes. So the sea salt that you guys have here, it's, it's a great thing because it has a lot of these minerals in it. And if you put that sea salt or the pink salt yep. in your oh, stuff, you, you will yeah. get a lot of these minerals yeah, back. Yeah, ninety-four minerals in it. Yeah, exactly. And if you're buying the regular white salt, you're not getting it. You're not getting it because any they've already bleached all that stuff out, or they however they extracted it, processed it, it yeah. stripped it down. So those things are really, really important because minerals without without minerals, you'll die. Yes. And on top of that, if you have too much of the wrong minerals, you'll get sick. Yeah, you'll you'll really upset <laughs> the systems in your body, and you yeah. can really, you'll have adrenal fatigue, exhaustion in your stress responses, your immune system will be deficient, and you'll lead to diseases. And those and, are and what has regular medicine said about f salt, for example? They say, well, if you, you if you use too much salt, it'll give you a heart attack, it'll give you high blood pressure, all that kind yeah. of stuff. The reality is, if you use the right kind of salt, you don't have those problems. No, you don't. Yeah. That's the key right there for sure. <laughs> yeah, because th the reality is, the way they make salt for use was sort of like originally a byproduct for something else, and but you needed to sell it. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> right? Exactly. Welcome to fluoride. That's right, how right. fluoride came along too. Yeah, fluoride, same thing. I mean, fluoride <laughs> was a byproduct for something else. Well, they got aluminum. all this extra stuff. Yeah. As they're making aluminum, they make fluoride. Right. So, amazing. There you go. So, so let's put it in toothpaste. Yeah, exactly, right? <laughs> um, you know, think, again, thinking out of the box. You know, things you could do at home that could make a, a difference for you. I remember reading a book by Dr. Andrew Weil in the 80s. And one of the things, back then I used to use an electric blanket all the time. Mm -hmm. I stopped using an electric blanket. I used just regular extra blankets. Yes. And I find that I feel better because all the extra electromagnetism in the room. The resonant frequency of what you're doing. <laughs> yes, can, can affect your brain and all this other kind of stuff. So having all kinds of, you know, like my cell phone, I, I plug it in and turn it off. Um, 
Those kinds of things can make a difference. There's lots of things that you can do out of the box thinking that there is. the regular medicine is not going to tell you about. Exactly. You know, that's one of the first things we always talk about is, you know, people plan for their, for their homes to buy a home. They plan for retirement. They plan for all the vacations they do. Nobody really plans for health. Yeah. And it's these things that we talk about. We can sit down and really provide a strategy. So, you know, going forward, you know, what are the little things you can do that will make milestones for your yeah. health? And then what are the, some of the bigger issues that we've got to address and lay those out, doing some yeah. testing and figuring those things out? So for those of you who don't know, they have a program called Life in Balance, and, mm -hmm. and that's the name of the show. But the Life in Balance program is designed to help you. It's sort of like a financial planner goes in and looks at all your financial planning stuff so that you have a plan that will work. Right. Well, what this does is not only will you have a plan that will keep you healthy as best as possible, you'll be able to spend that money. Yes, exactly. You know, exactly. <laughs> and enjoy it. Because that's one of the things. A lot of people will have this great plan to save all their money and everything. They'll get to retirement age, but their health is in the toilet. Well, you know, that's a great example of the patient I talked about earlier today is Sharon. Um, yeah. You know, she worked 35 years as a nurse, saved all this money, her and her husband, Planned and planned and planned, and then she unfortunately lost her husband, and they had all kinds of properties that she's dealing with. And, and long story short, from all the stress of the work, all the stress of the private life issues that they had, uh, just not really good. We went through and we made a plan for her. She's lost 44 pounds, but she was 35 years of consistent pain medication use for chronic right. illnesses. And, and that's because she was in the medical industry. She yes. was a nurse. I mean, so she was a nurse, okay, and she know. was doing that. But today, like I was talking about, she's packing today, actually, because she's leaving on a trip to Austria, mm -hmm. something that she dreamed about. But two years ago when she retired, she felt that it wasn't going to be a physical capability. She wouldn't be able to do it. And uh, so now we've unlocked that opportunity because we made a plan. We walked that plan out. And the results are she has no pain, no pain medications anymore. And she lost 44 pounds. Yeah. And I've seen that happen over and over again to a lot of people. They're on high blood pressure medicine or they're on cholesterol drugs or stuff like that. And if they look at the holistic picture of what the real issue is and address those issues, those drugs usually can go away because, first of all, they're usually overprescribed. Yes. But again, if, for example, if you have high blood pressure and you have high cholesterol, more than likely you're probably 40 pounds overweight. You could be for now. There's a lot of issues. I mean, there there you are know? people that aren't, but there, I, yeah, exactly. But a lot of it, you know, a lot of the conditions that we have that we're medicating are because of the state of our health, right. not because of. A breakdown in a system in our body. It's the state. It's, it's not a disease. Is. It's a disease where, exactly. we, where we have Bingo. eaten yes. too much food. We haven't been taking care of business and, and, exactly. and being healthy and, and understanding that you can't eat those twelve pounds of extra turkey, at, you know, and Thanksgiving exactly. and so on. So I know we got about a couple of minutes left. I want to make sure we uh, tell the. The audience about specials that are going on. You have the oh, Titron special going on. Great special. Titron is a fantastic scan that can identify specifically where the areas of your nervous system are function, uh, you know, malfunctioning, are in a state of disease, right. and we can determine exactly how that's affecting your health and really relate to you how we can correct that and make some very big impacts. Totally non-invasive. As a matter of fact, I'm looking at the Titron that's scan right. over here. It, it's totally non-invasive, but it can tell you a huge about you know, information about your body and how it's working and what's working right and what's not working right. And right now, they normally cost a bunch of money, but you can get it for free. For free. You can come in, we'll do a complimentary scan for you, we'll check it out and see how you're doing with it. So if, if you're not taking that, that's a no-brainer one to take care of. That's a, that's a Christmas gift you can give to yourself. That's right. Okay, that's a Absolutely. Christmas gift to give to yourself. They also have a special going on for Nutramost where you can get uh, your BMI. G uh, body composition yeah. analysis, right. yeah. So BMI is one of the components. Right. There's actually 15 key things that we're going to go through in that body composition. So you look analysis. at all of those things. Yes, we look at all those things. When we get done with that appointment, you're going to understand how your body is functioning, what's your metabolism right. doing, and, and how well that job is working right now, and also the steps that you need to really to look at and some options for a program that can transform yeah. and, how and, that's functioning. And again, that's normally $100. That's normally $100. But I think it's what, $27? $27, 27, yes. $27 right and now. And so you just call and book for that, and that's we're taking appointments all the time. Okay. So if you want to avoid... Avoid the Christmas fatness. You know, yes. Kind of <laughs> get ahead. Get ready. Yeah. And then you're January. You're starting off. And then by the time people are just putting the plan together, you've already lost 20 pounds. Yeah. So make sure you go to VibrantLifeHealthCenter.com. Check out the links there to all the different things. And, you know, make sure you tune in next week. <laughs> yes. Wonderful.